In the previous video, we briefly demonstrated how to use the pin tool to create custom vector paths. In this video, we'll cover the pin tool in depth. We'll also look at path winding direction and how it affects your shapes. The pin tool allows you to create custom paths. To begin drawing with the pin tool, activate it by either finding it in the Create Tools menu or by hitting P on your keyboard. Now that the tool is active, start creating your shape by placing vertices in an artboard. Note that you're in Edit Vertices mode, which displays path options in the inspector. Click to place vertices along a straight path. You can constrain the angle between each vertex to increments of 45 degrees by holding the Shift key. Add curves to a path by clicking and dragging as you place the vertex. The longer you drag, the more extreme the curve. Constrain the angle of the curve to increments of 45 degrees by holding Shift. You can adjust the position of each vertex with the Select tool. When you're finished with your path, press the Done Editing button in the inspector. You can also hit Enter or Escape to exit Edit Vertices mode. The origin for your custom path is located at the position of the first vertex. To change this, activate Freeze by hitting Y on your keyboard. Once Freeze is active, change the position of the origin. Hit Y again to deactivate Freeze. After creating a path, you can activate Edit Vertices mode by selecting a path and hitting Enter to add additional vertices, alter any of the handles, or fix any mistakes you may have made. There are four types of vertex handles, straight, mirrored, detached, and asymmetric. The handles are set to straight when you click to create a vertex. Straight handles create straight edges between vertices. To create a curve, use the corner radius option, which appears when your handles are set to straight, or change the handles. Mirrored handles are the default handles when you click and drag to place a curve. Mirrored handles always keep the same length and rotation. Detached handles can have their own rotation and length. Asymmetric handles share a rotation, but each handle can have its own length. When you add overlapping paths to a shape, you'll want to keep in mind both the winding direction of the path and the fill rule. The first vertex of every path is an arrow. The arrow indicates whether the path is winding in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. This direction is called the winding direction, or sometimes winding order. Note that you can reverse this direction in the inspector when in edit vertices mode using the reverse direction button. You can change which vertex is considered the first vertex by right clicking on the desired vertex and hitting the make first vertex button. You can find the fill rule in the fill options on the shape layer. Without complicating fill rules, they determine how the inside of a shape will appear when multiple paths are present. Each fill can have its own fill rule. In this example, all of these paths are winding in the same direction, with a non-zero fill rule. If we change the winding direction of the largest path, you'll notice that multiple holes appear where the paths overlap. By changing the winding direction of the same path again, the holes go away. In this example, the paths are again winding in the same direction. Instead of changing the winding direction, we can change the fill rule from non-zero to even-odd. Once again, holes appear where the paths overlap. This time, however, reversing the winding direction does not remove the holes. The most important takeaway here is that when you're using a non-zero fill rule, overlapping paths should be created with the same winding direction. To create a hole, either change the winding direction or change the fill rule. Don't worry if this topic sounds complicated. Generally, you won't need to worry about the winding order outside of a few key instances, which we'll cover in both the trim path and clipping videos. Keep an eye out for these videos in the future. That's it for the pin tool. In the next video, we'll look at how to create animations in animate mode. We'll see you in the next video.